Welcome back, YouTubers, to uh, Excel VBA is Fun. I'm Daniel Strong. I want to show you a quick thing today uh, about worksheet events. Kind of what are they and how to use them. I have a bunch of various tabs here that we'll be reviewing in later videos. Today we're going to work on the selection change event that happens in a worksheet. Uh, what is a worksheet event, you may ask? Um, it's when something happens in a worksheet and that stimulates Excel to run a macro. <clears throat> so for example in a selection change when I am selected there and I change the selection by clicking here that would run a macro. Or if I change the selection by hitting the down or left or right arrow key that would be a selection change. So, real quick, our objectives today are we are going to, number one, we're going to firstly run just any macro when uh, we click somewhere. So, right away we're going to help hit Alt F11 and we're going to go to our Visual Basic screen and really, uh, see, you can see that we have the the sheet called right click selected so maybe that's not the best way what we can do is we can right click on the sheet that we want and go to view code and that will instantly zoom us to that correct sheet right here so we're going to click here where it says general we don't want to make a generic macro we want to make a worksheet macro so by default the worksheet selection change that will always be your default if you wanted to change that you can change the type of worksheet event by clicking here. We'll do that later. But we are going to use a selection change. You notice the the by val target as range. They're saying that um, target is going to be uh, whatever cell you're clicked on. They're going to think you can use the word target to represent that. So let's go ahead and run this really quickly. Objective one here. We are going to say um, well, let's just let's just run a message box. You uh, changed cells. Okay, really easy. Now let's minimize this. I'm on C2. When I change my selection, let's click on B6. It ran a macro that said you changed cells. We could even make it a little more fun than that. You changed cells. I'll use an ampersand to join that, and I'll say, um, oh, let's say you change cells to, and we'll put the cell, we'll say target, we talked about that, target dot, uh, let's do target dot address. And if you're wondering about the target dot address, uh, we'll maybe talk about it later, or Google it, but the dot address feature is a way of getting instead of the target's value is actually I think that cell's blank target dot value would not give us anything interesting but target dot address might tell us b6 let's see what happens let's let's just click here you change cells to c5 you change to b7 okay e8 so that's pretty cool Let's work on our second objective. I'm going to comment out that part here, just so it will not be running. Um, ne next objective is to run a macro when user clicks on a specific cell. So I'm going to pause the video and doll up this cell here, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So C6 has been dolled up a little bit. I don't have any code in it. Let's go back to our Alt F11 to our Visual Basic Editor here. We are going to do something a little more specific here. Let's do, there's two ways we can do this that I can think of. We can use the target address and we can say if target dot address blah 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 is equal to and then that would yield C6. So, so we could say if target dot address 0 comma 0 for uh, equals the text C6 then uh, message box blah 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 
let's just do, let's hurry along here. And if, let's see if that worked. So I click there, did it run, nothing, nothing, nothing. When I click here, it ran our event. So that's one cool thing. We could even say whenever it meets that, instead of a message box, we could say, mm, I wonder if we can do a target dot print preview. That would probably just do a print preview of this page. We could just do active sheet dot print preview for good measure. So let's click here, click here, click here. I click here and it runs a print preview. How cool is that? Okay. So those were our objectives. We were, First we ran a macro, just any macro. Then we ran a macro when we clicked on a specific cell. Now I'm going to show you one other way to accomplish this. I will even comment out that area. I'll just I'll just delete all this. This is something you're going to want to to memorize whenever you're working with ranges that you want it to check a large area. So just watch and learn. You can go back and review this video later. If not intersect, I'm going to say target comma and what you're intersecting with how about range c6 through how about c8 so that means and then let's see is nothing then and then we'll run our quick boring macro here and if so what we're saying is, uh, it's kind of a roundabout way, there's like a double negative it seems like. We're saying if the intersection of our target, which is wherever we click, and uh, C6 through C8, if it is not nothing, meaning the inter they are intersecting, then run whatever code you want. So let's see if that worked. Oh, they don't like that. I spelled message box wrong. I put MIGAS. How about MSB box? Okay, let's run it. Okay, so nothing, nothing, nothing. If I click here, it ran it. How about C7? It ran it. How about C8? It ran it. C9? Nope, we didn't include that. So, that's the if not intersect target comma whatever you want to put is nothing then blah thanks for watching